everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Phoebe and today I am gonna be putting myself through pain by reacting to one star reviews of my favorite books very small disclaimer I am ill I don't think you can massively tell in my voice but sorry if I do sound different and sorry if it's a bit annoying today I'm gonna be reacting to one star reviews of some of my favorite books these aren't all of my favorite books in this video I'm definitely gonna have to do a part two at some point where I react to other one star reviews but we're going to start today with some of my favourite books and the first book we're going to read one star reviews of is from Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. This is my favourite romance book ever. I adore this book. I love it with my whole heart. I love Jasmine. I love Ivan. I love their story. I love ice skating. Love it. But there are definitely some polarising reviews <laughs> on this book. So the first review. Book talk will be like, here's some Rex. Smiley face. I don't be the worst book you've ever read. Now I don't agree with this when it comes to From Luke Off With Love. It, this is not the worst book I've ever read, it's actually one of the best. But I understand this reviewer's sentiment. I understand the feeling of taking a recommendation from Book Talk and reading it and everyone loves it and you just getting to the end and thinking what, what was that? What do you mean I just wasted like four hours of my life reading that book? So I get the feeling, I get the sentiment, but I wholeheartedly disagree when applying it to From Luke Off With Love. Did I read a totally different book than everyone else? This was terrible. Again, I don't agree. Obviously I don't because I love this book. But I again get the sentiment, that feeling of taking a recommendation, getting to the end and thinking, did we read the same book? I recently read, what's it even called? The Serpent in the Wings of Night. The second book, The Ashes and the Star Cursed King. I got to the end of that and I was like, have I read the same words on the same pages as everyone giving this five stars? So I relate. I do relate to the feeling, not with this book, because obviously I love this book. Next is a simple one word review, Meatball. <laughs> for context, that is Ivan's nickname for Jasmine, and I get why people don't like it. It's, de <laughs> it's definitely not your like cute rom com nickname, is it, let's be fair. But it makes sense, like it is explained, and it makes sense later in the book why he calls her Meatball. It feels at first very offensive because Jasmine thinks that like Ivan thinks she's ugly but you learn that that's not the case and it's not to do like with her body or anything like that at all but yeah it is it is a bit of a weird nickname the next one I did not get the hype they just danced on ice I just thought this review was funny they just danced on ice I mean that's exactly why I liked it because they danced on ice but I just thought this was a funny review next I blink, you blink, he, she, me blink, it's first grade Spongebob. Now I don't actually understand this review. I don't know if it's anything to do with actual Spongebob because I've, I don't watch Spongebob. I've never really watched it. So I might be missing a reference here if it is to do with actual Spongebob. But I just thought it was funny because, yeah, Mariana Zapata definitely repeats phrases. And I assume that blinking is one of them. I didn't massively notice it in this book. But yeah, I, I get it. It's not a literary masterpiece. She definitely does like choose a phrase or an action and just kind of go, go with it over and over and over again. So I do get it. It just didn't put me off the book. On a similar, very similar note, all I can say is that Meatball and Satan have a blinking problem. <laughs> We've got another one word review. <laughs> I don't think it is, but you get points for just, for being direct. For being straight up. Now moving on to reviews that are about Wildfire by Hannah Grace. So the first one, <laughs> I'm sorry for this but it's my truth. You know what, I appreciate the apology, I appreciate that you're speaking your truth. Fair enough. Fair enough. The puppies had more personality than them. <laughs> I don't think the characters had no personality. I love the characters but I also love dogs so I get it. The next one. This is just sadly boring. <laughs> I do so Wildfire definitely has a different vibe to Icebreaker. It's definitely to be fair Icebreaker doesn't have a big plot either. It is very much just following these characters and their lives so I get if you're a plot driven reader why you would find this boring but I didn't. Hannah Grace I think it's time to put the pen down. I think she needs to pick the pen up and carry on writing um, so that we can have a nice big long series of all these characters and I'm so excited for Henry's book which comes next. 
So I don't agree that she needs to put the pen down, but again, I did think this was a funny review. It's a very polite way of saying stop. <laughs> Hated Icebreaker and hate whatever this was. <laughs> We're now moving on to Reckless by Elsie Silver. So the first review for Reckless, swallowing rusty nails would have been more enjoyable. <laughs> Disagree. Disagree. I love this book. Clearly that's why it's in this video. But I do quite like the phrasing. There's definitely books that I could write this exact same review for. So I hope you're okay, you didn't. I hope you didn't actually go after this and swallow any, any rusty nails. DNF. I tried. I really did. And I appreciate that, you know. I don't personally rate books if I DNF them. But fair, fair to you, May, for giving it a go. <laughs> Next one. Yawn. Sometimes reading ain't fun. <laughs> Agree. Agree. Not about this book, but just in general. There's definitely books where I think, do I even like reading? I finish a book, put it down, and think, do I want to do this anymore? <laughs> and I'm just sad that Reckless was the book that made this review, I think that. Because I think it's a great book. Clearly they didn't. We're now moving on to Hopeless by Elsie Silver. So, same series. This is just the last book in the series. They should both be in therapy. And you know what, Sarah? I can't even argue. I can't, th I have no valid points to come back with on that one. They should. They should both be in therapy. I think probably 90% of the characters that we read about in books should definitely seek therapy. So, fair. <laughs> They're both my enemy. <laughs> this is how I feel about like Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover for instance. They are my enemies. Bearing in mind that the title of the book is Hopeless and the review is Hopeless Indeed. <laughs> That one really made me laugh when I first read it. <laughs> Another one. How do I unread a book? <laughs> Another therapy related review. If they both went to therapy, we wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Again, I feel like there's so many books that you could say. If both these people just went to therapy, we wouldn't even need this book. Like if they could actually seek some professional help, that would save us all a lot of time. <laughs> now moving on to one that is definitely polarising in the book community. Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. It's the second book in the Knock'em Out series and I feel like a lot of people hated it. So the, the problem is that because it's the second in a series, most of the people that read it were obviously people that were at least somewhat interested or invested. So a lot of the reviews for this are quite long, like actual reviews. So I've just tried to pick out a couple of kind of more short snippy reviews that we can react to. Holy f people are pushing 40 and they act like this. That is so fair. About this and the first book, I can't even argue because these 40 year old brothers have like a fist fight over nothing. <laughs> if you go to hell, they force you to read this book as punishment for your sins. <laughs> this book should be hidden from the light. One word reviews are quite often my favourite, and this next one is great. Just simply, yikes. <laughs> and again, another great one word one. No, just no. Right, we're now moving on to Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. This is the last book in the Twisted series. And my favourite in the Twisted series. I didn't love the other three, but I really did love Twisted Lies. Have we all read the same book? <laughs> again, I mentioned this earlier. I understand that sentiment of... Did I read the same book as everyone else? And I think Rocks, maybe you didn't, because this is, this is a good book. <laughs> this was genuinely the worst book in the series. What a way to end this sh <laughs> But I think this was a great ending to the sh I don't agree that this was the worst. I think, I'm stuck between whether the first or the third was the worst. Sorry if the angle has slightly changed or my SD card got full. I just had to delete some clips. Still on Twisted Lies. Twisted Lies are the things that TikTok told me when they said these books were good. <laughs> I didn't love the rest of the series either, so I very much felt like this until I got to this book. But did you read Twisted Lies properly? Maybe you should try again, because it's really good. I picked this one out specifically because it's the beginning of a year, and the first book I read this year, I gave 1.5 stars. No way this was my first book of 2023. I feel the same about my first book of 2024, so I just, I hope you're okay, Abby. I hope your reading year got much better and I hope you weren't plagued by having a one star book as your first read of the year. I relate. Now we're moving on to again, I, I, I swear all of the books I like are not polarising but I've kind of chosen ones for this video that are 
talked about books so that we could get some good reviews. The next one is Magnolia Parks, which definitely people hate this book. Not everyone. There are a lot of people that like die hard love this book. I'm one of them. But a lot of people hate this book. This one was hard to pick ones out for because a lot of them are quite long and in-depth reviews. Finish this in a day and at what cost? I don't understand the hype surrounding this blowjob dude. <laughs> Girl, you should do better. <laughs> I'm so glad that it's not just me that every time I read BJ's name I think, hmm, that was an odd choice. And it seems like a lot of people think it because there are a lot of reviews where people refer to BJ as blowjob. So, yeah, I'm glad it's not just me that every time I read his name I'm like, hmm, odd. That's weird. Now, this is funny because the next review I completely agree with but it was one of the reasons why I enjoyed the book so much. I want to throat punch every character in this book. And same. Like, literally same. You are so right. I just loved the book. Even more because of that. And I'm sorry that you didn't. Okay, the next one I can't argue with. Alexa, play Toxic by Britney Spears. <laughs> this book is f <laughs> And like, literally same. Like, these reviews are the best yet because I agree, it is. They're a joke, the whole story's a joke, but I just loved it anyway. The only thing this book was good for was killing the spider in my bathroom. And to clarify, the one star is for how well this book worked as a weapon. <laughs> I have taken permanent psychic damage from this. <laughs> Me with Ugly Love by Colin Hoover. And, but also, I kind of do have permanent damage from Magnolia Parks too. And I fear that when I read Magnolia Parks Into the Dark when it comes out in February, I fear I may relate to you even more. So, I hope you're okay, Laura. Another really simple but effective review. Fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> same. But I carried on reading the series and love them all anyway. But, like, yeah, same. The next book is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This book has a very, very high rating. I think the average is about like 4.48 or something like that on Goodreads. So there's not many one star reviews anyway. And pretty much all of them are kind of genuine criticisms of. But I think because most of Brandon Sanderson's readers are adults, even though this isn't an adult book, I feel like probably a lot of his usual readers read this and have given the actual constructive reviews. But this one, the DNF at chapter 14. Just endless talk of fictional spaceship stuff literally never ends. How can anyone pay attention to any of that is beyond me. Bestie, this is a sci-fi set in space. <laughs> like, the literal cover of the book is space. So I'm sorry that you didn't enjoy it, Julia. But I think perhaps reading the synopsis would have been helpful for you. The last book we're going to look at in this video is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This is one of those books where I struggle to understand how like anyone could hate it because it's just so sweet and the characters are so sweet. Some people definitely do hate it so let's read their review. <laughs> Simply some question marks and then what was this? <laughs> yeah again it's this is one of those reviews where I get it just not about this book, but I've read so many books where I've just kind of sat down after and thought, what did I actually just read? Like, what actually was that, that I have just put into my brain? <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Way too long and badly written. Pick a struggle. <laughs> oh wait, no, sorry, that wasn't the last book. In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. And two reviews for this one, both next to each other. The first one, well, this was, this was something. <laughs> Again, yeah, there's definitely books where I read it and I think that was, I don't know what, but it was certainly something. <laughs> and then the last review that we will end this video on. This author is definitely BFFs with Colleen Hoover. <laughs> I don't know quite what they mean by that because I don't like really any Colleen Hoover books. They're just not for me. But I loved Inner Jam. So I don't know what you mean by that, but I appreciated the review. It didn't make me laugh. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up down below if you did enjoy so I know whether or not I should do more kind of versions and more parts of this with some of my other favourite books. If you aren't already, please do subscribe down below. All my socials are in the description if you are interested in seeing me elsewhere on the internet. And I will see you here in my next video. Bye!